Howdy friends, Philip with Bear Arms. Uh, in this video, we're gonna go over a quick tip on how to install the bolt catch in your lower receiver. So as you can see here, we have the lower, you know, in a somewhat assembled state, and uh, I've started the roll pin that holds the bolt catch uh, already in the lower. It's not protruding into the lower receiver or into this slot yet though. So it's, uh, I'm able to slide the bolt catch in and out very easily with, with no problem. So it's very important though, before you do this, you have to have your hammer and trigger installed because that's gonna help us. So I'm gonna grab the spring and the plunger. We're gonna install that in the lower. right in its little home right here and make sure it can move freely. Now we're going to uh, hold back the hammer and then we're going to install the uh, bolt catch and we're going to eyeball it to make sure that we're right where the hole needs to be in order for it to uh, line up right for the punch and then we're going to let go of the hammer. So normally you, it, it, it's like you need three hands to do this, but we're going to hold the bolt catch in place by using the spring tension on the hammer touching uh, the bolt catch. So it is, it is in place. We can double check just to make sure that we have our alignment right. And I like it right there. The other thing you're really going to want is these set of uh, these set of specialty punches. I'm pretty sure this is from the brand Obsidian, um, but there's there's a lot of brands out there that make uh, these kind of like half cut uh, punches to help clear your lower receiver. And so I have this roll pin set up to where the end of the roll pin is right at the very edge of this cut. So one more hit. And this roll pin is going to start protruding into that cut and capture the uh, the bolt catch. And that's kind of important because as you start hammering, uh, you start shaking things around, and your if you if you if this pin needs to go somewhat of a distance, uh, you could shake things out of place. So you want this to be as deep as possible so that the next hit is really going to capture the the bolt catch. So we're going to give this one good tap, just like that. If we take our hammer back, we can see that we've captured the bolt catch. I'm going to lower the hammer again, just because when we're hammering on this, I don't know if it's going to jostle stuff around enough to, to drop the hammer. Probably won't, but rather not, just to be safe. And we're going to drive this pin the rest of the way in. And as I'm, and uh, something else too, uh, this lower is on a magwell block. And as you can see, there, there obviously has to be a little bit of slop in there so everything can fit right. So when I'm pressing this punch into uh, the roll pin, I'm also putting forward pressure on the lower receiver to try and take out any slop so that when I'm hitting it, when I'm tapping it, the lower receiver doesn't move either. So I'm trying to give it a little bit of tension there as well. Okay, and these roll pins, at least these ones that I'm using, uh, they can sink in kind of deep and still be uh, even on both sides. So I'm gonna drive this in a little bit more. And maybe one more little one. Just like that. And we have our bolt catch installed. Very easy, very quick, not, not very difficult at all. I don't know if uh, this is common knowledge or not, but if this can help you, um, I think you'll have a lot better time installing the bolt catch this way. So I'm Philip with Bear Arms. Thanks for your time.